Polish metal musician found guilty of offending religious feelings. The frontman of Behemoth, an extreme metal band in Poland, was found guilty of offending religious feelings after he shared an image of himself in September 2019, standing on a photo of the Virgin Mary. The Warsaw court convicted musician Adam Nergal Darsky with only a f- within only a few days of the charges being brought against him. As a result, this conviction has become an ongoing court battle as Nurgle expects to receive the due process he was denied. Authorities ordered him to pay court costs of uh, uh, 3,500 PLN, which is uh, the currency, and a penalty fine of uh, 15,000 PLN. Uh, The amount totals to roughly uh, 5,000 USD. Nurgle has refused to plead guilty and is preparing to contest the ruling. And so this is quite interesting. So there's many different aspects to what's going on here. So like I said, what we reported on is that this is a photo of him stepping on the Virgin Mary. Well, he's like, how do you know that that's the Virgin Mary? When when I saw this, people were reporting on it being the Virgin Mary as a Catholic. I'm like, this isn't I how mean, I'm used to seeing the Virgin Mary portrayed. I'm not used to seeing her in... A white usually it should be a blue robe with Isn't a, that a the blue heart cheek. no there's a heart here there's a what is that, that thing that doesn't look like a sacred heart at all it um that doesn't look like a sacred heart at all it looks like three red x's and okay. then there's like these beams coming out of her head, hands and the i don't know what that a presumably Polish text was above her head, which would probably, you know, give us some clues. Yeah, I think that would probably, whatever the writing is on top of her head, what makes it clear is some Mother Mary. Yeah, so just to, but then he contests, he's like, how do you guys know that that's my foot? You see a foot, how do you know that it's my foot? How do you know that this is the Virgin Mary? Mm -hmm. Um, So, to give you guys some background, um, so this was, oh, thank you for the super chat, Maroon, for the $5, yeah, saying okay, long time daristas. I don't know what that means. Daristas. <laughs> thank you, Maroon. Um, so he originally posted this back in 2009, um, but it was uh, only recently latched onto by some uh conservative polish like ultra conservative polish groups and so that's when they decided to bring these charges against him and um uh wait there was so uh part of the problem comes with so there's like okay so he posted this in 2019 and then he was convicted within a few days of the charges being brought against him like what's going on here so basically it's a um prescriptive sentence it and so he didn't actually get his day in court. And so that, that that's why he's fighting this. Um, he's had a long history of um, getting blasphemy charges, basically, in Poland. Um, so, he, yeah, Norval is familiar with, quote, unquote, hurting religious feelings in Poland, his native country. In 2007, authorities charged him with blasphemy for shredding a Bible on stage and calling it a book of lies. He was acquitted of those charges in 2010. The heavy metal band faced blasphemy charges in 2018. The government attacked one of their merchandise designs, claiming it mocked Poland's coat of arms. Behemoth, yeah, so because they have a t-shirt. And then they dismissed those charges. And then um, <laughs> if you scroll down, wait, so scroll down so you can see the caption of this Instagram post we embedded. Nope. So he's saying, will I let superstition and fundamentalist dogma capitalize this on an every other case of this nature? F no. Nurgle, he meant this, I think he meant to say Nurgle, not Nigel, has come, has some assets up his sleeve. Just wait and see. And then scroll down further, like to the bottom. Yeah, so here he is. Look at when the truth that says, I don't care. And then he's like, how's your religious feelings today? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, and, then, and then scroll back up. So you see the one in the post in the middle. By the way, Amazon doesn't let us sell shirts like this anymore. 
they have a new, new rules saying that we can't offend, which is like stupid. Anyways. So wait, no, I'll go so you can see the caption of this one. Okay, so this is, no, scroll down. Hmm. There we go. Another, so here is the caption. He says, another lawsuit in the process. Reason in every case the same offense. Offense of religious feelings. Can you imagine this? Wait, for our audio listeners, can you tell us that this, tell people that this is the caption of? Yes, so this is what he said in an Instagram post. Um, Can you imagine this nonsense in the 21st century? Poland is so (laughs) mentally so effing behind the civilized Europe that we are literally the last bastion of the so-called blasphemy cause. Even extremely Catholic Ireland removed this paragraph from Constitution lately. It will happen in Poland at some point. And yeah, I will be willing to be that stepping stone. F religious fundamentalism in every (laughs) effing hole. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and frankly, I'm sure I will win in every other case. Just wait and see. Okay, this guy is a hero. <laughs> like Brandy's like, Nurgle gives zero Fs. <laughs> okay, this guy is my new hero. And Poland is the, is the leading Christian country that is enforcing blasphemy rules, right? Like um, That I'm aware of, yeah. So, so he, the, he did say that Poland is the last bastion of blasphemy. It's like, well, no, Christian. we'll see what's going on in the, we'll see what's going on in the Islamic world. <laughs> but yeah. Christian, so the, first, there is some lead, instances in Africa. Leading the charts is Islamic countries, um, Iran and Saudi Arabia, number one when it comes to from the government, Pakistan coming from you know. Number three, when it comes from the mob rather than the government, and then every other Islamic country is like Bangladesh, and then go all the way down to the most modern ones like Tunisia, Malaysia, Indonesia. They still, they still have blasphemy stuff there, right? But here's the thing, uh, and then after Islamic countries, you have the main country that is enforcing blasphemy is a Hindu country, which is India. After all the Islamic countries, and then in the Christian world. It's mostly no blasphemy except Poland, and but you were just saying no. There's Africa has some Christian blasphemy country. Yeah, I think like Kenya and Uganda. You're right. You're right. Africa. And it might not even be on the books so much as just like mm. culturally, it's contentious. That's what I mean. Right, 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 right. Um, but it's very interesting because um, the worst, the best of Islamic countries are still behind the worst of the Christian countries when it comes to enforcing blasphemy, I think. You know what I mean? Like, you know, so the worst Islamic countries are Iran and Saudi Arabia. The, you know, the best, the most moderate ones are, I don't know, Tunisia, Malaysia, Indonesia. And if you look at what happens there, they are still behind the worst case scenario in Christian countries, which is like something like Poland. So that shows you how far behind Islamic countries are. Anyways. But I want to, so since we posted this article, um, he started a really cool project that I want to share with you guys. So this is an update. Um, Let me know if you can't hear this, okay? Hello world, this is Adam Nergaldarski. For many years, uh, I have confronted um, corrupted individuals and pseudo organizations in courts across Poland trying to convict me for so-called blasphemy. Poland becomes the last bastion of Catholic fundamentalist regime that still holds to paragraph 196 in its constitution, its so-called blasphemia case. And it's just another excuse for all sorts of opportunists, petty foggers, bullies that harass me under the banner of Catholic dogma. So far, I've been somewhat immune to all that and managed to shield off um, most of those attempts. But what does this situation tell about the juristical system in Poland? Many cases of I just wanted to pause and say, well, also for copyright. Um, this is I love the setting. I love the setting. 
he's like, no, we got to do this dark. I'm going to have a candle in front of me. Like I'm setting the mood. Okay. Right. Right. This guy is, this guy is a hero. This, he's this so is cool. But just this... wait, just wait, just wait. Pedophilia crimes among clergy are being secretly wiped up and the predators hardly ever face the law. And here an artist is being convicted within few days for what? Posting a photo on his social media? It is an absurd. It makes Polish justice look like a fucking joke. And so it is. Now I must engage in more effective means and uncompromising law artillery to finally beat the bastards once and for all for all the artists in Poland that have been punished for blasphemy. And so I decided to start raising funds to help me and others financially to steadfastly maintain and conquer all odds and obstacles to finally shut down this war on artistic expression in Poland. Wow. At the same time, I wanted to thank you so much for sending all messages and words of support. It really means a lot to me. And please never cease your opposition to any oppression, no matter what kind it is. Below you can find all the information how you can become involved in the fight. Stay strong, stay healthy. E viva l'arte. Hail freedom, hail Satan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This. Everything about this is Hello amazing. World. This is Adam Nergal. The fact that yeah, so he's titled this Ordo Blasphema. Um, so if you guys want to learn more about this, you can go to his Instagram, which is uh Nurgle69, nice, um, where he has a uh, GoFundMe uh that is going towards his legal expenses and also uh other artists. Um just iconic really and his um i his instagram wow. is just amazing like check this out he posted this and how's your religious feelings today folks <laughs> he does this like every few days and then so this is supposed to be the bible but it's just blah 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 <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing wow this is the guy this is the guy that we needed right now this is what we what okay this no is but this is funny so i mean it doesn't um it doesn't translate it on my browser version but uh so this is all in polish but it like roughly translates to like a user's warning that the content on this profile may offend religious feelings <laughs> what it says in his bio you know, all right open at your own risk um we should we should do a blasphemous art in it, like in honor of what he's doing to support his work and all. Yeah. What 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 do you think it would be? I don't know. We'll we can think of something. But by the way, guys, I just want to uh, mention that um, you you have to understand that this is. I I know I know I don't want to constantly bring attention to something else when we're talking about Christian um, blasphemy and all, but this is used in islamic countries to show to justify their blasphemy laws right this is a european country and the fact that they have blasphemy laws i have as somebody who follows like the news in iran and some other uh, islamic countries they use this as a as a way to say like look this is what you guys are suggesting that is barbaric ancient dogmatic even european countries have that right so the disagreement should not be whether blasphemy laws make sense or not the disagreements should be on what's blasphemy and what is it they use this as an excuse to say like look blasphemy is a thing the these these so-called you, you know advanced you know humanitarian countries they can't they know that they can't leave religion behind that some things are too holy some things are too sacred some things require protection right and having this kind like and again i know it's not comparable like 
they kill people for blasphemy, right? So I'm not defending their argument. I, I, I'm not even suggesting that it makes any sense, but they use these uh, laws in European countries or any any religious uh, enforcement, or even in the United States. They use it as an excuse to show that uh, don't tell me religion has no place in politics. Even United, even North American countries have that. Even European countries have that. Go ahead, Susanna. Um, it's really funny. He, I, I love following him on Instagram. Like he does um, things where he mocks influencers. Well, like you know how people do unboxing, but instead it's him unboxing like legal notices from the government about his password. <laughs> really? <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, so, like this guy's amazing. Um, so uh, Bubble is saying you should collaborate with him. Has he heard of Sexy Kali? Now. Presumably not. A lot of people have requested that we interview him. Uh, I'm still looking for like a way to contact him. It's really big, though. I discussed. Yeah, this is hard. Really, yeah. Okay, so let me be honest. Okay, because I think it's really hard to get on this person's radar. One way to get on this per person's is a sexy radar art. is to do an art, um, just so that he might notice us. And then if he notices us, then maybe we could. Bring him on. I actually sure. think Kenji's idea is a pretty good idea. Like Virgin Mary with a boot fetish. Like, what if it was Virgin Mary licking his boots? Like, I think that's genius. Let's do it. That's a genius. Genius. Let's do it. Good. Yes. Okay. You good? Wait. Uh, we're adding it to the list. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, and it's so fun that um, we are blasphemous art. Is also we can use this project to be in solidarity of, with other people who are persecuted for this kind of stuff. Like we did the LGBT Mary for the people who are facing charges for that in Poland. We did the uh, LGBT Kaba for the uh, students in Turkey who did like a interpretive protest art of the Kaba. Now we can do this. And Varun, thank you for the five dollar super chat. Saying, oh yeah, my religious cow feelings are so aroused right now. <laughs> Plot twist. Um, yeah. Yes. So I've seen some other people saying that um, he faces two years in prison if convicted of blasphemy. Now, I that's not what I read in uh, the reports that I saw at the that time that we put this out, but maybe there are updates. Like maybe because he's context contesting the original um, prescriptive sentence, like. Honestly, that would be so good to embarrass, continue for us to continue embarrass Poland. Like, how embarrassing would it be for Poland for this guy to even have a chance of going to prison for something like this? Mm -hmm. Like, highlighting this, highlighting how barbaric and ridiculous and ancient, like, these, like, Poland, I mean, can you even, like, oh, my God. Like you, the European Union, should, like the, you should be embarrassed for this country to even be part of, like, be considered part of the civilized world. Where, like, come on, guys, come on, like, catch up with the rest of the civilized world. It's our, it's about time. Ah, oh, goddamn! I can't believe we're still having these discussions about this. Like, we're like, figure, like, we just like we're meant to send stuff to Mars, right? And where people are like. Oh, like entire countries as laws of like, oh, you step your boot on a picture, maybe that's illegal. Like, how are we still having these discussions? Sometimes I'm like, is this real? Are we are we the same species? Like, is this are the same people that are having discussions about how they what happened in the fraction uh, of a second at the beginning of the universe? Like, how what are the chemical um, you know pre-atomic reactions that happened that at this time the same is that the same species that is discussing whether or not we should have we should have laws uh, to limit somebody offending someone's religious like ancient i actually i don't like that statement that's very dehumanizing it is very uh, i don't i it, it is okay but i wonder like i can't help it some I, so it comes it, i'm just saying it comes across to my mind so how are we like the same and i realized that this is part, like here let me let me undo it i what I, my conclusion is that we are like this is being human okay the the people that have pushing us forward 
right? That are keep advancing science and uh, bring up bring the enlightenment and are in, responsible for modernity. They are the weird ones. They like everything that is making us move forward. Like more, a, a huge percentage of it comes from a tiny percentage of unique people who think differently. Okay, so if anything, what most human what most humans share is this flawed way of thinking, the black and white thinking, the sense of tribalism, the finding agency where there is no agency, the looking at causation whenever they see anything that remotely seems like correlation. That is human, okay? So I feel sometimes I, it, like I, this dehumanizing thoughts comes to my mind. Like, how are we? The, how are these? Are do they? Do these people belong to the same species? And then the answer is like, no, yeah, they do. They are the most human, okay? This is the nature of our species is to be like this. So I think it, but then I come to, you know what I mean? So forgive me for coming to see, having these thoughts sometimes. Yes, I know it's dehumanizing. I, um, so I don't endorse my guilty thoughts sometimes, okay? Uh, hey, guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Kali, you know, like me, and that means that you probably want more blasphemous art. Well, I have good news for you. If you subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description below, then you get a free booklet of some of the tastiest blasphemous art available today. So if you want some of this delicious blasphemy, and we're so generous that we update it for you guys weekly for free, all you have to do is sign up for our newsletter below. Uh, you can also go to blasphemousart.com slash ebook. That's blasphemousart.com slash ebook. Sign up with your email and you get free gifts of this tasty blasphemy. What could be better? So make sure you sign up. Link below.